You're Miss Champa Kali. I heard about you, beautiful. I think you're a very lucky girl. And a very big girl at that. You are a huge female Asiatic elephant. <laughs> oh, you're a sweet girl. You're a really lovely lady. I heard you have some hoof problems. We gotta do a little nail trim on you. Is that something we can do today? Will you let me do that? There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Thank you, baby. Thank you. With elephants, every like six or so months, they need to just trim up those nails and file them down before they get too big. And then that can cause issues with the foot and laminitis and whatnot. All right, so when elephants walk, most of their wear and most of their weight's going on these side nails. And it's this middle nail that's just not getting as much wear. You can see it kind of folding in and growing a little bit more than we want, so we just need to get that down. And using this blade just to take off little, it's like peeling through cheese. And we're just slicing off this excess nail we don't need. We're slicing through Champakali's nail, and I'm seeing there's an infection there. This little black, little uh, discoloration is in the nail. That's concerning, and so what I want to do is take out another one of our little scoopers and just literally scoop out that infection. Because we want to get all that infection out. And that's something that can happen when these nails get overgrown. And this is actually pretty dangerous, even just trimming the nails of an elephant. Because I've got this huge moving leg here that can crush me and throw me over there. And I'm working with a knife. And when she bucks me the wrong way, that could be pretty dangerous for me, too. I know, Jambakali. I know you don't like your nails trimmed. My dog doesn't like his nails trimmed. Let me tell you, it's a little less challenging than this, though. This is probably one of the more dangerous nail trims I've done. Thank goodness she's such a sweetheart. So we've done as much as we can for now. She's been on her side for so long, and that's putting so much pressure on her chest and even her organs. And what we want to do is just let her stand back up. Oh, you're a sweetheart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Champakali. Thank you, baby. That helps. We got a lot out. I know that's not fun. Oh, and there's your little burrito. Is that worth it? No. I know. All right. My next patient is Sudakali, and this is a very important case today. Pseudocali was tested positive for tuberculosis through a blood test. Based on that test alone, we can't reliably confirm that she has tuberculosis. And so we need to follow that up with another test called a trans trunk wash. And basically that means we're just putting a bunch of saline liquid up her trunk and we're trying to get any kind of material or liquid and whatnot in there and flush it back out. Hi there. I gotta be your vet today, baby. We gotta do a little work on that trunk. I'll let you finish that bite, but then I'm gonna steal your trunk, okay? Give it to me. Come here. Come here. I know. I know. Rinse that trunk off a little bit. The inside of the trunk should be relatively clean. There shouldn't be a lot of dirt in there. And so all I wanna do is flush this trunk, get all the debris and crap off of it, and then we're gonna do the actual trunk flush. There we go, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now we're just gonna do our flush. I know. I know. I know. So this is how we get our sample, baby. We gotta get that sample. Test for the TB, I gotta get that trunk up as high as I can. We wanna get fluid all the way up that trunk. Ooh. And then we can put it right in the bucket here. Right in the bucket, there we go. There we go, thank you. And that is how we test for tuberculosis, sweetheart. How to make sure you don't have it. Tuberculosis is a scary disease. And so now that sample is going off to the lab to tell us yes or no, we have certain bacteria in there, and what can we treat this bacteria with. I'm really thankful I could be a part of this today. This is a big deal. This is really, really important stuff, okay? Thank you so much for being a sweetheart. I appreciate you. You make my job very easy. That was a very easy trans flush. Thank you so much, baby. Keep eating your grass, okay? 